hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing like a chit chat get ready with me and i actually have like story times to talk to you guys about so i'm not like i don't know what to talk about the next time anyway got my makeup bag here and just going to get started um it's so convenient to like have such a big makeup bag now this is like my first little stony clover piece and i'm excited about it I can fit like literally everything. I have extra band-aids, my dry shampoo in there, everything. So starting off, I wanted to just like shout, not like shout out, but like check the link in the description box to a GoFundMe for one of my old friends. Um, his family could use some support right now. Like I don't wanna like, I don't know all the details or anything really, but um, you can just read on like the page and everything about like what they need help with but I just wanted to shout that out just in case you guys want to um, check it out and like help out with their family and what they need um, or you can just share it to like your social media pages and everything that would be great I don't know I feel like with a some sort of a platform like this I want to do everything I can to like help and stuff so just wanted to start that I'll start this video out with that. In this video, I'm just going to be talking about when I started my period because I think that that would be like such a funny story to like share with you guys. I don't think I've ever talked about it on YouTube and also YouTuber drama that like, well, I've never really been in like full YouTube drama, but it's just like a funny story. Um, and honestly, I don't think, I hope the girl doesn't like hate me, but I mean, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I just wanted to like share this stuff because I would love to make like full videos about it, like full sit down videos, but I don't think they're long enough to actually like, make a video. Like it would be five minutes probably. So I just decided to do like a little get ready with me chit chat and I'll just like tell you these stories cause like I just find them to be like funny and everything. I'm gonna start off with like the time I started my period cause I think that's the funniest one and that was like in my notes app to film so i was i think i was 12. i think i was 12. so i was 12 years old and i danced a lot obviously so like every saturday i would have like a rehearsal for competition because i did the dance competitions and everything Okay, so I would always go dance like every Saturday because you know, we had to like practice, learn the dance, like all of that stuff. At practice, and there was this one practice, this is like a side note just cause I'm still doing the concealer. But um, there was this one practice where I think I like, I totally overdosed on cold ease because I was like sick and I wanted to like go to practice still. So I took like probably 12, if you know, they're like little lozenges. And then you just take them for like, you know, your symptoms of like mucus and like there's different ones. It's kind of like mucinex, not mucinex. Anyway, so I took like a whole bunch of these coldies, but then it like actually worked because like the rest of the day, like I was totally fine. I know that's like a complete side note, but I just remembered that because I think it was the same year because there was this dance called Egypt and like we were, it was like Egypt and we had like this pyramid prop thing. But anyway, it was the same year. That's why I, I thought of that. So um, it was at one of those rehearsals and I didn't have any symptoms. Like I didn't have any cramping. I didn't, I mean, I knew like what a period was obviously, but I was just living my life. I never really got cramps as a kid and everything. So I did not understand like what I was going through at the time because I didn't feel anything. And this is at, for those of you who are watching this that actually like know, I don't know, some people in real life watch these, which is crazy because I always forget that people in my real life watch these. So for those of you who um, are watching this, this was obviously at the old location of the studio up by, I think the road was called Vanguard. So this was there. So um, we were rehearsing this dance and uh, there was this, scene scene there was this like part of the dance where i did an aerial across the floor i don't know if it was like the past section it probably was like i don't know i i needed to get to the other side of the stage and i basically just did this aerial because my teacher was like oh and you're gonna do an aerial across the stage and i was like okay 
So I don't know if that part was like actually kept in. I know this is not important, but I'm just babbling on. Do the aerial across the stage and then like I feel something and I was like, uh, and it wasn't that big. Like my, obviously my flow wasn't that huge because I was a smaller person. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I felt something, but I didn't like check it because I'm like, oh, it just might be like sweat or whatever. Cause like, you know, you get pretty sweaty. You get pretty sweaty just dancing in, in general. So like, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't have any, um, like I never got any symptoms or side effects when it came to like my period. So I don't know, I just went about my day. But obviously I had to go to the bathroom. Obviously I went to the bathroom and um, go in there and lo and behold, my period had started. And I literally just remember putting paper towel, not paper towels, it was a toilet paper. It was toilet paper in my underwear. And I had to obviously like go back to the rehearsal. So like, that's just what I did. And then after that um, rehearsal ended, I changed the paper obviously, cause I think more came out, you know, obviously. So I was like, oh, this is weird. And so, well, throughout the day, I would change like the toilet paper, but I didn't have like anything with me, obviously. Shoo, I forgot to do the blush. See, this is what happens too when I like talk and do things. Can't focus and then I just get all sidetracked. Okay, I'm not gonna try to do a lot of makeup. Um, I just wanted to do be doing something when I talk to you guys because I don't know I find it more interesting and like more you know girl time just like chit chatting anyway so I changed the paper throughout the day but then finally like the practice ended and then I told my mom like hey I think I started my period and then I just remember obviously like I showered and then I showered and we went to like a CVS or like Walgreens, some type of drugstore. And we got pads and I got the ones with like the wings, which I still use to today. So uh, shout out to Always, not sponsored. So we get that and then it was December 15th, if I'm remembering correctly. It was definitely in the winter time because like it was colder. We had our Christmas tree up and everything. Cause I remember like I was standing by the Christmas tree and my mom was like, oh my gosh, baby, you have to call mama and like tell her. And I was like, okay. So I called my grandma. Um, cause they're, they were all like, you're becoming a woman. So I just found that to be like kind of funny. That was another thing that like, I distinctly remember, uh, like having to call my grandma and tell her that I like started my period, which I find to be like so funny. That was pretty much the story time of like how and when, well not how, but like when I started my period and learning how to put in a tampon. Oh my gosh, guys, like that was like <laughs> an experience. No, not really. But like my mom just like told me and I was like, oh, okay. So then I tried it and nothing wasn't that bad. But then I got like the lecture about toxic shock syndrome and like whatever. And um, I think it was Sherry, but she was like, you should totally wear uh, tampons like for when you go dance. And I was like, okay. So I try it. Okay, now we're ready to do the powder. Okay, so then Sherry was all like, you should wear tampons for dance cause it'll be like more comfortable for you and all this stuff. And I was like, Okay, so I try it and I still to this day like I don't know if I use like the wrong ones or whatever I use the sport ones So I don't know man, but I remember in ballet class. Okay, we were doing those like grand plies and like Whatever you do in those classes and then I go to the bathroom because I don't know why I always had to pee in ballet And it was probably because like it was so boring. I go to the bathroom and <laughs> Guys like there was just like blood and I'm like, I knew I had a tampon in and I'm like, this thing is not working. And from that day on, my camera battery freaking died on me when I was talking about tampons. But from this day on, like I just don't wear tampons because I don't feel like they work. Maybe I'm wearing the wrong versions of tampons, but I swear, like I use all different sizes and like different types and like still. 
not that they don't work but it's like some leakage gets out and it's just like what is going on so I don't really use those I only really use them in the shower because I don't like to see fluids <laughs> come out in the shower so I wear them for the shower and then I wear them for the beach or pool or whatever but that's really like the only time I wear tampons the rest of the time I just wear pads because I'm not really a big fan of like I don't want to try the diva cup I don't want to I don't know and I don't mind the feeling to be honest like it's not that bad and since my flow isn't that horrible like especially now with like birth control and stuff it's not that big of a deal so I just you know I just do my own thing and <laughs> just wear pads when it comes to like my period and stuff um I think now oh my gosh I'm like missing this is why I can't like multitask when doing the makeup or anything because I always just like forget like what's going on. But then again too, like I never do my makeup because I don't know, I sit in a dark room all day. And guys, oh my gosh, I've had this for forever and I've hit pan on it, which I need to like get replaced or whatever. I need to get some more eventually, but maybe I'll get some today since we're going to the mall. <laughs> that would be a good purchase. Okay, so moving on to like the YouTube drama, I guess. I don't know, this is not like actually drama or whatever, but okay, so there's this girl that I met kind of through YouTube, just like naturally, right? And um, I don't think she like posts a lot anymore. I like her videos and I like her channel and I still like watch them and I still like follow her and everything because I like her content. I think she puts up like good quality stuff. And um, so we met up and we met at this, at Playlist Live actually. And she was like moving here or whatever. And I was like, oh, that's cool. But she was like kind of younger than me. So, I mean, we we're just at different like stages of our life. And we meet up this like one time to like take pictures. And she was like really cool. Like I got to meet like some of her, I think college friends. Like I don't really know too much. Um, I don't know how really she knew them. I think they were her college friends or whatever. And we had a good time. Um, we took pictures and stuff. And then after that, like I obviously like wanted the pictures cause she had this like really good DSLR camera, which I had a good DSLR at the time, but it wasn't like hers. Cause hers was like, you know, one of the really really good ones like with a good lens so like me just like wanting the pictures like I was like hey can I get the pictures and she was like yeah I'll send them and like I never got them and I was like um so then I texted her again I think and something happened with her like SD card or something with the memory card and I'm like oh that's kind of sucks but then like after that like I've never heard from her again and I'm like oh um, that's awkward. And then she unfollowed me on Instagram. I think she still follows me on Twitter, but my Twitter's like all private and stuff. So, um, we definitely agree on like things that she like shares and stuff. But yeah, she, I don't think she follows me on Instagram anymore, but I still follow her. And I still like her, I mean, I still enjoy like her content and stuff. But it was just like kind of awkward to, you know, kind of have a friendship. But then like, it kind of just disintegrated, which I totally get. And I understand that like life happens and we were like in different like stages of our life in a way so I'm not like mad about anything but uh yeah and like then I remember texting her like in 2020 like with this TikTok I guess and then she like never responded I'm like okay well I guess that's it for that friendship whatever maybe she deleted my number maybe she got a new number who knows <laughs> probably not but I mean I don't know I just find it to be like f so funny yeah and to this day I still have never like gotten the pictures <laughs> it's okay though like but that's like the closest like huge YouTube drama drama or like a conflict that I had with someone online so I don't know I just found that to be kind of funny and I wanted to share that but it, I mean the story's not juicy or it's not big enough to like make it an actual video so I just thought I would throw it in here to share with you guys because <laughs> I don't know all right now I'm gonna do the brows I swear guys 
The brows are always just so hard. It's okay. I'm getting a little better at this. And now those are the only two little things that I had to talk about. So as you guys can see, I could definitely not make like full videos out of any of those things. Like going back to the girl that I had, it wasn't like a falling out, but just like, I guess a growing apart different ways. Um, I wish her nothing but the best and I hope her career goes well. I must say that this lash gel is like so fun to put on. I think this is like one of my favorite parts about doing my makeup because it's just so fun putting on. <laughs> so I was watching one of Carly Cohort's vlogs. I really enjoy her videos and stuff. Um, she is a cheerleader and she was talking about like this little serum that she has that she wears and I want to try it because it just is a very like light face makeup and I feel like for every day, um, maybe like for work or whatever, I could just wear that instead of like actual foundation. I feel like trying it. All right, so if you guys watched Stranger Things 4, let me know what you think of it because I would be very curious to know your thoughts and opinions. I like this season a lot. Um, I think they did a really good job with it. I'm just like dying to know the other two episodes. Like I wish they just would have released it out like all at once, you know? Okay guys, this is pretty much my normal look. I went light with the eyes and just, I don't know. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and like enjoyed some of my little stories that I just wanted to share with you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check the link in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.